Well guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to talk a bit about stockpiling for BFA and it's uh, a video that's been requested for a long time now and I want to share my idea or my plan to stockpile for BFA because it is without no doubt like a period of time to make so much gold it's insane and that is always like at the start of a new expansion. So uh, like it's a, it's a kind of it can take some time to explain the plan, but it's really, really simple, like extremely simple. So first of all, my plan is to stockpile what is already selling to this day. Like whatever is selling good today should be stockpiled if it's still usable in BFA, right? So basically the reason why I want to do this, there's a lot of reasons, but some of the reasons is because whatever is good to farm today to sell for gold is not going to be farmed in BFA but it's still needed in BFA, right? So you got to find the items that are still going to be needed and uh, in demand in BFA, but they won't be farmed because farmers will do a different farm, which might give you a higher gold per hour. So let's say that you got Primal Fire, for instance, right? If Primal Fire can net you 60,000 gold now, you don't want to do Primal Fire in... Uh, in BFA, like early BFA, if you could just run around and pick up flowers and make 80,000 gold per hour, right? But uh, since everyone has that mentality, Primal Fire is going to rise in value and all the other items is going to rise in value at BFA because nobody's doing it. It's being like everyone's focusing on the BFA stuff. So you're just running around doing BFA farms while selling the old items on the auction house in BFA because they're still in demand. And this has uh, worked for like multiple expansions ever. If you guys remember uh, when Legion came out and started Legion, Volatiles were as high as 250 gold each on some realms. Primals, like sometimes there was no Primals at all on the auction house. And just like fell steel bars, Corian bars, like all of these popular materials, these core materials that is needed for like the most popular transmog and the popular crafts are still going to be in demand. They always will be. But again, if you go out and you farm it, it might still just be, and I say just be, like an 80, 75,000 gold per hour farm, right, in BFA, if you go back and you do that farm in BFA. But uh, there will most likely be better farms to do in BFA, so you should stockpile it now. So you can either buy it on the auction house, whatever it goes underneath market value. I know that a lot of big players do that, they just make yourself like a shopping list. And whenever they can strike a good deal on like the list of items they want to gather, they just buy it out and they sell it in, uh, in BFA. But I'm a farmer myself, so I'm just basically going to farm as much as I can and farm up every single material and sell it all in BFA instead of now. Besides from one point, like if I can already sell it now for a decent value, there's no point in waiting for bfa right so uh, i had an example where i was selling dark runes like dark runes is easy to farm super easy to farm you can get like 150 an hour but it, they're only used for a, a certain amount of crafts so as long as i can net like a hundred thousand gold per hour farming it i'm going to sell it now right because you're not that much in demand so i'm not going to willing to take the risk that i can sell it for twice the price in bfa because there's not that many people selling it same goes for like Corian bars. So Corian bars, they hit like almost 6,000 gold each bar. And that is an insane price and it will probably hit that price in BFA. But uh, when you're still making like 80,000 gold plus per hour farming it, it's better to just sell it now. As long as you're happy with the price, sell it now and do not bank on this selling it in BFA. Because there might be people like me and you doing the exact same stockpiles, right? So that's kind of the mentality behind my stockpiling just so you guys know a tiny bit of background information on why i choose to stockpile the items that i'm going to show you guys right now i haven't obviously uh farmed every single material yet because i i just started this but i will show you guys uh some of the items that i have farmed and i will also leave like a complete list in the description down below so you guys can take a look at the materials that i will stockpile and of course, I'm probably gonna uh, probably gonna come up with a few more alongside the way. Like, oh shit, this material, and then add that one to the list too. But this is the uh, the the list that I'm following right now. That's in the description. First of all, we're not talking only battle only battle pets, only materials. Battle pets and various items are still in uh, demand, even in the new expansion. So 
always like the reason why you wouldn't stockpile these is because there's not a lot of people supplying the auction house with them because they're busy doing uh bfa farms so you want to be the one supplying the auction house with them to sell it for way more than you're gonna sell like mid bfa so dark whelplings bronze whelplings always a winner they're so easy to farm always a winner and then you have black tabby cat and the parrot these are also really really good parrots sold for like seventy-five thousand gold early legion same with the black tabby cat these battle pets right here you can get up to like 10 per hour and uh, i've sold them for like 20 to thirty thousand gold each so they're really really good this uh raptor you get wild farming the parrot but also focus on these like the arcane crystals you can farm them daily there's a video up on my youtube channel once you can farm three different arcane crystals daily right so you can have 14 tunes and just kill them to have 14 14 times three chance of getting a crystal really good and the emerald whelpling obviously and also the sunstruck the sunstruck is currently now just like 8.5k gold but if you're the only one with the sunstruck on the auction house uh you can easily sell it for uh, four times the value no problem at all and class specific items is also really important like dices you have polymorph tombs and you also have the uh the sealed tomb of the lost legion so those are like the class specific items that I do farm and always have up in the auction house and especially important in BFA because if no one, uh, you can struggle a bit selling these but you got to keep in mind that if nobody is selling these, it's not that hard, right? And you can ask whatever price you want to ask. And you also have battery tilt. I don't have a battery tilt because the price was over 100,000 gold so it was too good so I actually did sell it right now. Moving over to the uh, materials. A lot of you guys can easily farm these materials. Some of them requires you to have uh, certain professions like Primal Might and you have the Arcanite Bars and the Corium Bars, Living Steel and Fell Steel, right? Those are like the uh, kind of profession materials that uh, I try to get as many as, uh, of the, as I can for BFA because they're still going to be needed to craft a lot of uh, different transport that's super popular like the fell steel long blade uh, so they sell really really well and i'm always looking on the prices like the, the ongoing prices on these because if it's a really good price i will definitely sell them now instead of waiting so it's kind of like i'm not in a rush of selling items i'm just farming 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 and then i just go over the items and check and see if they have like a super sick value in the auction house. I posted on the auction house because that's just going to increase your uh, your gold per hour by so much. Because if you search up, let's say the price of uh, volatile water, 40 gold each. All right. So you head out, you farm volatile water, you get like 800 and you go in the auction house and you'd be like, okay, I made 50,000 gold uh, with the other materials. Right. And you're going to be fine with that. Like most people would but if you just sit it in the back and be like i know they can sell for way more so i'm just gonna wait and you sell them at 125 gold in bfa the gold per hour on that farm is going to be insane you're talking like the same gold per hour as you're going to get on material farms early bfa so um yeah we have obviously volatile water and fire and all the volatiles that you get from the tiny treasure uh, treasure chest while doing the volatile fire and water every single material should be farmed like the primal i mean primal even though like primal shadow has a really bad value right now it's uh because everyone is running mana tombs to get tbc loot so it has a bad value but uh nobody's going to be running mana tombs in uh, early bfa and people still need primal shadow so it's definitely going to go up in value but every single one of these should be farmed and uh, it's like the primal air 900 gold for primal air i've sold these just a couple of weeks back for 2000 gold each right so i know for a fact that i can get more gold than this you also have some skinning like special uh, special letter like wind scales you have the nether dragon scales you have cobra scales war bear letter and the uh, the fell scales and so on I'm going to farm every single one of those. I'm like, this one I see right now is 1,300 gold a pop. So I'm definitely going to go and put a few, on the, few of these on the auction house and try and get rid of them. Because this is like one of the uh, one of the few materials that's quite hard to sell. It's needed for a few popular transmogs. But it doesn't just fly off the auction house like primals and volatiles do. So uh, if I can sell them for 1,300 gold, which is like a tiny bit above market value, I'm fine with that. Because they're so easy to get. 
And uh, Spirit of Harmony, the obvious. Always find Spirit of Harmony. And uh, that is pretty much my plan. So I do have a few more items than uh, what I currently have in my bag. So I'm gonna, as I said, put like a list in the description down below. And I've been wanting to make like a series out of this, right? So you guys can always be updated. You can see how much I do stockpile. So next week when I'm back, you're gonna see a bunch of more materials than last week. And maybe I found some new materials or new battle pets or just basically new items that I wanna stockpile. And you guys can kind of follow my pace and uh, try and uh, try and follow or beat me, like farm even more. But I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm also gonna farm as I said, transmog for the transmog challenge, but I'm going to focus mostly on uh, stockpiling mats for uh, for BFA. And if there's any questions whatsoever, if anything was unclear, just let me know in the comment section and I'm going to do my absolutely best to answer every single one of you. And hopefully this video was uh, to some use for some of you guys. And uh, if you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys pretty soon. Until then, bye-bye.